Okay, we're recording. <laughs> I don't know if you remember, but a while back I had made a video that was griping and complaining about how I had a board in California, I finally got the trucks and the wheels for it, and then I was going to bring it back here but realized it didn't fit in my suitcase, so then I left the board it there and I brought the trucks and wheels with me, and I was looking for a board. Come to think of it, it might have been on Instagram that I was ranting about that. A lot of people actually helped me out. They said, I have this board you can have. There's this person that makes great boards. There's that person. Check out this person. Then somebody messaged me and said, hey, if you're looking for a board, I could get one for you. And if it would be something that you're interested in, I could put a design on it. And I thought that would be awesome. First of all, I didn't want to spend a lot of money on getting a new board because I had a brand new board in California. And I just thought it would be such a waste to buy another brand new board here. Not to mention I looked online at the stores around here and I just didn't like any of the designs. I'm not the skull and crossbones kind of person. A lot of the designs just I didn't like and I wasn't gonna buy a brand new board with a design on it that I didn't like. It just seemed like a waste of money. The other thing was like I just didn't need a brand new board. I'm learning. I will buy a dope, sweet, expensive, handmade, handcrafted skateboard once I've reached the level in skateboarding that I think I've earned it. Right now I'm still a beginner and I'm still figuring it out. I don't need a really nice board. Somebody wrote me on Instagram and said that they would make this custom board for me and I was super excited. So anyways, her name is Ty. I will link her Instagram below. This is obviously not paid promotion. She didn't ask me to make this, but <laughs> the video I had today went out the window. I had a very limited amount of time. It wasn't a video that was going to take me very long, but I sat down to record it and had interruption after interruption after interruption, and after about 40 minutes of trying to record this dang video, I just gave up. I was like, I'll do it another day. So this is kind of off the cuff, off the fly, and I'm very excited about it because I just got it today. I met with Ty today. She gave me my board. I paid her for it, so it's not like an ad or a free promotion or anything like that. Um, but I'm very excited about it. And here it is! California! Isn't that awesome? Look at it. She made this. She did this herself. So she got the board second hand. If you notice on this side, it's like dinged up. The grip tape is starting to come off. You can see. See that there? That's starting to come off. She asked me if I wanted her to replace the grip tape. She said she could do that. And I thought about it, but you know, pull a Casey Neistat and bring it in real close. This year in particular, I'm really trying to reduce the waste that I produce. Last year was the year it kind of dawned on me that I need to be more responsible about this. So I really, last year, I really focused on trying to stop using disposable plastic bags and to try to use reusable bags as much as possible. It's a little too close for comfort. That was last year and I think I did a pretty good job of it. This year I'm focusing on broadening my horizons a little bit. So I'm trying to be frugal. I'm trying to reduce waste where I can. That's why I love this board even more. It's a recycled board. It's second hand. It's not new. Somebody worked really hard to make it look new again. It looks incredible. It's so beautiful. It reminds me of California. Actually, she asked me what I wanted on the back of it and I said something to remind me of home in California. What a great shot. Look at that. Look at it. The palm trees. The palms up here. It's just, it's money. It looks great. I'm stoked. And when my trucks and wheels are on it, it's going to look fantastic. So I'm very excited about it. The front is obviously still a little bit dinged up. And you know what? It was like, I don't need new grip tape. I don't need to produce that waste yet. For now, this will be just fine. It'll handle just fine for now. It'll be perfect. So I thought this was a really eco-friendly way to get a new board. I'm very excited about using excited to learn how to skateboard on a skateboard because I've been using a penny board. I only know how to skate on a penny board. I mean, I've only learned how to skate on a penny board 
And in California, when I was trying out my other board, it was like being on a long board after just a penny board. So I'm excited to try this out and to put my trucks on it finally. And I'm excited to have something that says California on it that reminds me of home. It's beautiful. I love it. Ty, if you're watching this, thank you for all the hard work. I really appreciate it. I will let you know how it goes. I'm going to put my trucks on it and then when the weather finally clears up, I'll actually get to use it. Looking forward to getting, becoming a better skater. More legit skater. By the way, the wheels I have are for cruising. I'm not at all interested in the tricks and the jumps. I'm not going to drop into the pool anytime soon, let me say that. Mainly what I want to do is get from point A to point B. I want to enjoy it. I want to get a little bit of speed in my life. I always wanted to learn how to skate and now I'm, I'm making my way there. I'm very happy. So I'm really excited. And honestly, it's something that I recommend. If you want to learn to skate or if you need a new board, find one that's like a little bit used. It seems like skateboarding is getting more and more popular in Slovenia. When I first came here, I was really actually surprised at how few people were skateboarding. I think part of it is because it's really not a friendly terrain. The streets are most, like there's a lot of cobblestone which makes it really hard to skate. But now I'm noticing every year I notice more and more people skateboarding. And it's usually like once it warms up, you start to notice it because Yes, like it rains so much that it really puts a damper on your ability to skate. And when hopefully all the rock is kind of cleared away from the roads, because right now from the snow, the ice, they put down a lot of salt, a lot of rock. And even now, like the other day, I took out my penny board to walk Lilu, actually run Lilu, and there was tons of rocks, and it's like uh, it really gets in the way. So when that clears. I'm going to be very excited to give this a try. That's all I have for today. Um, my cool video, cooler video, will be up on Wednesday, so be on the lookout for that. As always, if you like this video, please like it. I really appreciate it. If you like me, subscribe. I appreciate that. If you hit the little bell, I appreciate that even more. And I'll see you in the next video.